Last week, I took three days off work to head to Northern Rivers, New South Wales on an off shopping trip with my best mate. We made it to Ballina, Yamba and Grafton before I had an emergency call and had to make my way home. But I wanted to take the time to show you some of the things that we picked up on that trip. Now, I'll do this in two parts. We'll focus on the two days that we were outsourcing together. So let's take a look at what I grabbed in Ballina and Yamba. Ballina is a smallish town on the coast of northern New South Wales. Something I wasn't really sure of was what type of stock I was going to find given the demographic of the area. Ballina is actually where I found the most stock on this trip. I'll show you everything that I picked up there. And what I really gained uh, more than stock to bring to my online store was an appreciation of how close I am regularly to good op shops with good quality stock. That aside, let's take a look at what I picked up. So, so the first shop that we stumbled across, I believe was an Anglican op shop, was a really, really nicely presented little store. Majority of the clothing there was kind of what I'd expected to see. It was like a lot of Millers and I guess a more older demographic appeal, but I did find a couple of good things. The first being this pair of Django and Juliet shoes. So Django and Juliet is a brand that I love to pick up, really good quality leathers, laser cut um, kind of design on these. And these are in a fantastic size. These are size 42. And from memory, these were about $8. So for the most part, I was really, really thrilled to see that these shops were priced much, much lower than what I'd be paying if I was still finding these in Brisbane. I reckon in Brisbane, I would have paid upwards of $10 for these. The second item that I grabbed uh, at that op shop is just this little feather and noise cardi. Um, so nice kind of beige, very neutral knit in a medium to large Miss Ghost blend. Um, so just a nice, easy throw on cardigan. And lastly from that one, I also picked up a pair of Oriton loafers. My first time finding Oriton shoes in an op shop. I haven't really seen many Oriton bags either. These are in a size 38. And these I pay $10 for. So still plenty of profit in these at that price. From there, we went around to the Adra op shop. It was really, really nice to see that all of the op shops in Ballina were quite closely located together. It was easy for us to get around to several of them. Um, we were only there for about half a day and I think we got to about eight op shops in total. But from that one, I found a pair of absolutely brand spanking new with tags, uh, chic, Pants, these are the Gracie pant. They've still got their belt and they've still got the tag on the back that says, you know, they can't be returned without it. So these I'm confident have absolutely never been worn. I paid $6 for these. They are in a smaller size, but given the style um, and the price I paid, I was happy to pick them up for that. I also grabbed uh, one of these little Portman's dresses. So this is in a size 12, it's the full zip um, dress. I find these actually do really well. This was on a half price rack, so I paid $5 for this one, and it looks practically new. There are no signs of wear at all. It's in a great style with pockets as well. So those are things that I'll definitely be making sure to pop in my listing as keywords. Also from the Adra Op Shop, I found two great pairs of comfort shoes. Diana Ferrari Super Soft. Now in good condition, I pick these up frequently. I find that they're a really good seller. These are a size 7C and I believe this is the Flex Wedge style. I've actually sold a few of these before and I think I have a pair in like tan leather in my, sh my store at the moment. And then this brand, so these are Revere, another great comfort shoe. Obviously, maybe more of an older uh, lady style, I guess. But comfort shoes, I find there's generally really, really... Um, good sell through and good return in them. So at good prices, I'm picking them up every time. These were $5 and I believe from memory, these were about $6. So you can see again, low prices and both of these genuine leather. From there, we did duck across to the Lifeline store. Unfortunately, nothing. I came away empty handed from several of the shops that we were in um, throughout the couple of days that we were away. And that's, I guess, where I've gained that appreciation for what I'm close to. But, you know, they did have some lovely stock. Kind of seeing that um, Lifeline and Vinnie's were still higher priced compared to some of the smaller charities and church op, sh op shops we went to, which again was sort of in line with my expectation on this trip. But from there, we did get across to the, I think it's the NRAS, it's like an animal society op shop. I did pick up a couple of great things there. The first one, if this was a little bit smaller, I'd definitely be keeping it for myself. It's this kind is cool hoodie. So this is the back 
um, obviously with the big decal on it and this is what I saw first uh, and the front this one does have a few minor marks nothing that makes it unsaleable but definitely things I'll need to note in my listing but I just thought I couldn't go past it with that big vibrant patch on the back and this one was five dollars now the next one I do need to do a little bit of research on but this might be a contender for my find of the trip I paid eight dollars uh, for this little dress you can see it desperately, desperately needs its steam before I take any photos. But this is Scanlon Theodore. Um, so not something I was expecting to find in Ballina and definitely not for $8. But it's a great little style, really, really lovely colour. And I think um, once it's steamed and photographed on the mannequin, it's going to come up fantastic. This one is in a size 12. I also paid $8 each at the same op shop for these next two. So I don't pick up a lot of kind of surf or mall kind of brands anymore, Portman's being an exception, but Ganta also, depending on the style, um, and I was really, really loving the florals and the tie details on both of these. I think this one, I've just noticed it does have belt loops. I think it actually wraps um, around and bows at the back, but these were $8 each. As I said, they're, I think, a linen blend uh, and both in size large. So coming into the warmer weather now, nice and easy ones to get up and hopefully turn over in store as well. So from the NRAS op shop, we shot over to the other side of town, which when I say that it was probably like a 500 meter drive, we could have walked being lazy and trying to make the most of our time. Uh, we went to the helicopter op shop. Now, again, I didn't really find anything in this one. It was good to have a little dig around. They had some good homewares and that sort of thing, but not really what I was looking for. However, across the road at Vinnie's, so I did find a Leo and Lynn Numatags dress. This one was absolutely gorgeous. Priced fairly reasonably, I'd say, for the brand at $80 in the op shop. I did leave it behind because it was a size 6. Had it been a size 12 or up, it would have been an absolute no-brainer at that price, but just not in the range I was looking for. I did find two Mr. Zimmies, though. Uh, so, just nice little mini dresses. This one's kind of got the button down the front. I really like this silhouette. It's almost like a 90s um, silhouette on that one. And then the print on this one as well. Nice and vibrant. And I think from memory, I did pay up for these. I paid $20 each for these. When I average that across the rest of my pickups for the couple of days that I was away, I'm quite happy that there's still money to be made on the both of these as well. Finney's was the last stop in Ballina before we jumped back in the car and headed over to Yamba. Now, we were a bit late in the day. There wasn't much that was open in Yamba. So I think we only got to two op shops while we were there. The first of those was another helicopter op shop and nothing in this one again for me. They did have um, quite a good ladies wear section, but just not really the styles that I was after. The prices though were absolutely fantastic. I don't think I saw anything priced at more than maybe $5 in its op shop and they priced by category. So from there we went across to the Uniting Church op shop and again, really, really great pricing. So all dresses were $3, shoes were $4 and I did find a couple of things in there. So the first I found was this Alpha 60 dress. This is a brand that's only just kind of popped onto my radar. I picked up a jacket um, recently that has just sold in my store, but this is a gorgeous cotton and silk blend, kind of like a tent style dress. There's quite a bit of volume in the skirt. It does have pockets as well, pockets. Um, in a size small, but I'd say quite oversized for what it is. Um, when I'm listing this one up, I will do a bit of search, uh, a search and see if I can find the style name. I think that this one will probably go for upwards of $70 or $80. So really, really keen to get this one up and listed. And I also found a pair of shoes. So as I mentioned, all shoes were $4 in this one. I found this great pair of leather and calf hair urban sole uh, loafers. They've got the low heel on there in a size 38. Now they do have some scuffing, if you can see that there, around the toe. That is really easily taken care of. Um, just with a bit of shoe polish, they will come up a treat. So we did finish quite early in Yamba. We wrapped it up, I think at about three o'clock uh, on the sourcing before heading out for a nice walk along the breakwater where we saw a pod of wild dolphins. It was a pretty spectacular sight. Uh, that's it for day one. So as you can see, not really the volume that I'm used to picking up when I'm thrifting around the city, but again, the prices. I'm pretty happy with everything that I got here and what I paid for it. 
and really interested to see what type of return I can get on some of these, particularly the Alpha 60 dress. Uh, but I'm going to leave it there today. Keep an eye out next week for part two. I'll take you through what I picked up on day two in Grafton. And if you enjoyed this, please make sure you've subscribed to my channel. I do release new content regularly about reselling and thrifting in Australia. And I've teed up one here for you that I think you'll enjoy as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.